Do you know the stars can fight for your breakthrough? The stars can fight for your victory. The stars in the sky, they can fight for your miracle. In the book of Judges, chapter, chapter 5, verse 20, it says that the stars in the Akosis, the stars in their groups, fought against Sisera, and Sisera lost. The stars in their groups fought against Sisera, and Sisera lost. So the stars can fight for somebody to win, or the stars can fight for somebody to lose. I've done a video called The Three Heavens. Go and check it out. I've explained more about how the three heavens operate. Now, stars fight. Now, there's what I call the alignment of the heavenly bodies. The alignment of the heavenly bodies matters a lot. And this is what the witches and, and when astrologers are doing against God's people. They program the heavenly bodies against you. Against believers. That's why Jesus said that whatever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. So on earth, when you declare something, the heavens are going to align according to what you have declared so that it can come to pass. Whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Which heaven is not where God is. Where God is, it is perfect. In the, in the third heaven, God does not need to bind anything. In the third heaven, God does not need to lose anything. God is in is in is in charge. He's in command. Everything is perfect. There's no problem there. That's why we say that in heaven there's no death, there's no crying, there's no pain. It is true. It is true. Now, what is mean that uh, 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 it shall be bound and not shall be bound in heaven? It's talked about the second heaven because that's where the gate of time is. Because blessings or curses are programmed at the gates of time. Very important to realize. That. Watch this video till the end. Hello guys, thanks for watching. I'm Cleo Faswanyama, Cleo with him. And this is Christian Media, where we bring you news, commentaries, Bible-based teachings, gospel music, plus many more. And if you want to donate to this ministry to support us financially, use the information on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. So guys, uh, the gates of time. Now, we have uh, the sun, the moon, and the stars. And uh, we have uh, 12 constellations, scientifically proven. We have 12 constellations, which are called the zodiac signs. Now, zodiac signs are being used a lot by astrologers to predict the future. They're used by uh, astrologers to do many things. We Christians, we are not supposed to, int we don't interpret zodiac signs because it's not scriptural. We interpret the Bible, but not zodiac signs. But that does not mean that the zodiac signs don't exist. The zodiac signs, they do exist. They are found in the Bible. There's a video which I've done about the truth about the zodiac signs. Go and watch it. Zodiac signs do exist. But we are not supposed to interpret zodiac signs. Christians are not meant to interpret the, the zodiac signs. So we need to be clear there. Now, now uh, the story of Deborah. There's this story of Deborah. There was a time Israel had, had offended God. And God uh, allowed their enemies to oppress them. Israelites were oppressed by the enemies for so long. Sisera had, I don't know how many hundred iron chariots. He had very, you know, he had this equipment, uh, war, war equipment. At that time, he had sophisticated uh, weapons. It's like he had all the nuclear weapons, he had all the submarines, he had all the tankers, he had the, all the missiles, all the fighter jets, he had them. Cicera, he was a captain, he had iron chariots, he had a very you know, powerful army. I there is no way Israel could have defeated him. There is no way that man, when you talk about uh, military-wise, he was experienced, he was equipped, he had all the equipment of war, he had all experience. To wage war but the bible tells us that they went to war deborah led them to war against sisera so sisera went with his with the with his uh, uh iron chariots he went but now something happened you know they all became confused and the israelites end up killing them 
I can imagine the Israelites, they only had machetes, machete, they had only maybe st uh, no sticks and you know, they didn't have the proper equipment, they didn't have even maybe the armor, the good armor, you understand? They, they didn't have chariots, but they defeated the, that army. And then what happened? Sisera himself, he went and he, something came upon him. He started running away in fear. All captain, a whole general of the army, somebody who was expected, you know, to defeat people in the, in battle. He was running, he was running, he was running away. He went and hid inside the tent of, tent of a woman. And then the woman took, um, I don't know if it's a hammer or what, and hit him on the head. He died. A mighty warrior was killed by an ordinary woman. Ordinary, innocent woman who has no uh, skills for, for, for battle. Killed Sisera. And that's where now Deborah came and wrote that song. That story is in Judges chapter 4. Read Judges chapter 4, the whole of it, and then come and read Judges chapter 5, verse 20. Now, Sisera, now Deborah in her song is saying, The stars in their courses, the stars in their groups fought against Sisera. Now, the reason why Sisera lost is because the alignment of the heavenly bodies was against him. So that means heavenly body can align in your favor, and heavenly bodies can align. To your disadvantage. Now, these things Christians do not know. Now, witches and wizards, this is where you find the, these tarot card readers, the tarot card readers, astrologers, they are able to predict the future because they, I don't know how they do it, but they are able to study the zodiac signs and study the patterns and be able to interpret the future. And in fact, they are accurate. I'm not saying they're not accurate. The fact that somebody's prediction is accurate, it, it doesn't mean that it comes from God. Because those are the people who saw the star of Jesus. Remember, they were astrologers. The wise men, that word wise men means astrologers. Uh, it's the Greek word called magi. Magi, M-A-G-I. That's where we got the word magician from. That's where we got, we got the Christian word magician. They were astrologers. They, because they saw the star of Jesus. They said, where is he born? The king of the Jews. Because we know prophets in the Bible never knew how to read stars. But the wise men saw the, saw the star of Jesus and they came all the way to worship him because they read stars. And we know that the information was accurate. They knew who he was. They knew he was the king of the Jews. They knew which country he was born into, but they didn't know where specifically he was. Are you getting me there? Are you getting me? Now, uh, stars carry information. That's why, even as I've said, God said that whatever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you decree on or you declare on earth, heaven, the heavenly bodies, the sun, the moon, and the stars, they align to your declaration and then make it happen. Remember, the wise men saw the star of Jesus two years before he was born. Two years before he was born. Because they told Herod, and uh, they, they said that they saw the star two years. So they had to kill the babies. They had to kill the babies who were two years and, and below. Because the wise men saw the star of Jesus two years prior to his birth. That means the wise men knew Jesus was going to be born. Even before angel Gabriel came to give the news to Mary, they knew by looking at the stars. So there is a lot of information in the stars. And it is true. That's why you find astrologers, they like, you know, telling people the future. The fortune tell us it is true. But now we are not, these are what I call the forbidden knowledge. There are some knowledge which are forbidden for us. Because if you, because there's no way the Spirit of God in, uh, has taught us how to interpret those things. Because for us, we only interpret scriptures. And uh, another thing I'd, I'd like to say that for you to program your life, you can program your stars, you can program the stars. And the heavenly board is in your favor. You can do that. Why? How? By your speaking. By your declaration. Because all those, every, all creation was created with the word of God. God spoke them into, into existence. And you are a child of God. You are the seed of God. You are the day. You have the DNA of God. So when you speak your words, they align according to what you have spoken. Now this is what witches are doing. Because whether you like it or not, 
any mankind is still a seed of God. Any mankind is still because we are all created in the image of God. Regardless of our belief, we are all created in the image of God. Man is man. And God gave dominion to man. Man is man. That's why the devil is after converting more people to himself so, so that they can use the authority of man, which God gave man, to do things to not to push his kingdom. That's why even God uses men. God needs men. The devil also needs men. The Bible says, in the beginning, there was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is God. I would like to emphasize Christians to study because it is ignorance which is keeping many Christians in bondage. The Bible says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Now, years ago in 2018, God gave me a revelation to write three e-books. The first one is called The Star, The Mystery Behind Extreme Success. We, this book tends to teach about star. This book about the star teaches you about the star so that you can understand what does, what does the Bible say concerning stars. There are a lot of erroneous teachings out there about the star. But this book gives you a biblical sound knowledge about the teaching of the star. The, uh, the secret to extreme success. In this book, you're going to learn how to make your star shine. You're going to learn secrets to unlock your destiny. Get this book. The second book is called is called Understanding the Mystery of Times and Seasons, where I teach about times and seasons and how to discern the, se the seasons and the timings which you are in. This book is powerful. It's going to unlock a lot of uh, potentials in you. And the, the last one is called Thrones. Thrones. Thrones is a very powerful book where I teach about altars, gates, and covenants. It's a very powerful book. These three combinations will help you and will equip you to become a better Christian. To get this book, you get it when you donate to us an um, amount of 20 US dollars. When you donate 20 US dollars or more and you send me the email, I'll get you this book, I'll send this e -books in these three e-books in your email and it will bless you and your life will never be the same again. Thank you. God cannot do it without man. God has to partner with man. Even the devil has to partner with man. So the role of man is very important. So, this is where we need so the heavenly bodies the heavenly bodies, the alignment, you can speak. You know, when you declare, when you declare as a man, when you speak, those uh, Joshua 1, it says that this book of the law shall not depart out of, the, out of your mouth. Thou shalt meditate therein, and thou shalt observe to do, and thou shalt make your ways prosperous, shall have good success. When you speak, those words go into the spirit, and things are affected in the realm of the spirit. This is why you hear people like uh, people say like like uh, things like commanding your morning. Commanding is your morning is is declaring. The what Christians don't know, they don't like to. I usually tell Christians, command the sun, command the moon, command the stars. When you tell them that they are afraid, they think that you are teaching them you are teaching them witchcraft. It's not witchcraft. God did not make the sun for for witches. God did not make the moon for witchcraft. For witchcraft. God did not make the stars or the zodiac stars for witchcraft. They were not meant for witchcraft at all. They were meant to show forth the glory of God. The devil is the one who is using them against their will. Romans says that creation is groaning for the manifestations of the sons of God because creation was held bondage by the enemy. One of the greatest tools which the enemy uses to oppress people uses the power of nature, the power of the things which God created. So creation is groaning for the manifestations of, of the sons of God. You and I are going to stand in authority and say, no, the son from this day, you will not um, use, you will not be used for witchcraft. You moon, you will not be used for witchcraft. You stars, you will not be used for witchcraft. You will be used to, to, to show forth the glory of God. That's what we're supposed to do as believers. But now, when you tell a Christian, they say, oh, you're teaching us witchcraft. Yeah. Christians are literally afraid of the sun. They're afraid of the moon. 
Nobody is telling you to worship the moon. You can't worship the moon. You are greater than the moon. You can't worship the sun. You are greater than the sun. You can't worship the stars. You are greater than the stars. You can't even worship angels because we are greater than the angels. But these things were created to, to play a, a, a specific role in our lives. If we don't know those roles were created to play, to, to play, the enemy will use them against you, will use them to fight you. This is what the enemy is doing against the church. He used them to fight you. Well, okay, let me give an example. You have Jesus, okay? I have Jesus. And you say, I can't live without Jesus. It's true. But you still breathe the oxygen. Without oxygen, you'll die with Jesus. Without oxygen, whether you have Jesus or not, you will die. You will die with your Jesus. I must say the, the truth. Now, do you worship oxygen? Is oxygen your God? Oxygen is not your God. But you need it to survive. But it's not your God. You are greater than oxygen. But oxygen was, was created to serve you. But uh, if you lack it, if you miss it, my friend, you will die. You and your greatness. That's how it is. You are greater, you are greater than the sun. You are, you are greater than the moon. You are even greater than water. Because it's just water. Water is just, no, water. But now, if you miss it, if water is poison and you take it, it will kill you. If the air is poisoned and you breathe it, it will kill you. If the sun is being poisoned by the enemy spiritually, it will smite you. David said, the sun shall not smite you by day. The moon shall not smite you in the night. David knew these things. The book of Psalms. The sun shall not smite you in the day. The moon shall not smite you in the night. They can smite you. But Christians, they don't know these things. They don't know. That's why you find there. The enemy always has a, has an upper hand. You know, every time you are praying, for what? No. For God to and do what the devil has done. Why can't we be one step ahead of the devil? And I'm giving you these secrets. The church ought to wake up. These are the last days. The devil is aggressive. Roaring like a lion looking for who to devour. So, when you say command your morning, you speak what you want. Speak to the sun. Speak to the sun. You shall declare the glory of God upon my life. You son, the Bible says that in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 14. Go and read it. Genesis chapter 1 verse 14. The sun was created to rule the day. The moon was created to rule the night. So, witchcraft used the sun to rule wickedness over the day. Witchcraft uses the moon to rule wickedness over the night and over different seasons of life. That's why you ought to know these things. You ought to know these things. So, when you pray, command, the same way you command your angels, command the sun, because that's the gate of time, command the sun. You shall declare the glory of God over our lives. You shall declare the glory of God over our destinies. You shall declare the glory of God over nations. Speak to, to the moon. You speak, you speak, oh, you sun, oh, you moon, oh, you stars, declare the glory of God over my life. Declare the glory of God over my destiny. You command it. You are not begging it. You are not requesting it. You are commanded it because you have the authority. The earth was given to you. Use your authority. The reason why you are suffering is that you are not using your authority. So the devil is making the sun to enforce curses in your life. The, most of you, I'm talking to you, witchcraft has been tied to the sun against you. Witchcraft has been tied to the moon, to the stars against you. So, Whenever the, the sun comes up every day, it enforces the witchcraft it was done to you. Whenever the moon comes out in every season, it enforces the witchcraft. That's why you need to pray. Command the sun. This is what you find when Jesus was on the cross, there was darkness for three hours. The work of the redemption had to affect the sun. It had to affect the cosmic realm. It had to affect the heavenly bodies for it to be complete. Can't you get it? Can't you get it? Can't you see these things? Read the Bible. Be, go deeper. The stars in their courses fought against the Sarah. Some of you, somebody has programmed the heavenly, they has programmed the sun, the moon, and the stars to smite you. That's why things are not working. It's time for you to wake up, declare, speak to the sun, speak to the moon, speak to the stars. Any curse program against my life and destiny in the sun and the moon and the stars is broken by the blood of Jesus. Do this thing as you are taking the Holy Communion in your home. Any, any curse, 
program against my life, against my destiny, in the sun of the moon and the stars, is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Is broken. Any curse, any enchantment, anything program against my destiny in the sun, the moon, and the stars is broken. And, and then start to declare this, oh, ye son of the moon and the star, enforce the glory of God in my life. Align yourself in my favor. You sun, the moon, and the stars, align yourself in my favor. Align yourself in my favor. Enforce the blessings of God upon my life. You sun, the moon, and the stars, enforce the victory of God up, uh, upon my life. Enforce the, enforce the divine protection of God upon my life. Speak to them. Speak to them. They hear. They hear. Joshua spoke to the sun. It heard. It stopped. It heard. It heard Joshua. This sun can hear you. Jesus, uh, Joshua spoke to the sun and it made, it, it, Joshua made the sun to stand still. He spoke to it. Some of you, let me tell you something. Some of you, the reason why you are not delivered, that witchcraft is stubborn, is because that witchcraft is tied to the sun. So you go to church and say, fire, fire, you fall, you, you manifest, but you are not yet delivered. Why? Because the witchcraft is tied to the sun. So as long as the sun exists, that witchcraft exists. So you need to break it there. I hope you are getting me. This is not worship. I'm not teaching you to worship the sun. Please don't misunderstand because you know there are people who are expert in you know in exaggerating what I've said. Break every curse. You have to deal with those things. That's why Jesus said that whatever we shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Which heaven? The second heaven. Yes, the stars. And by saying that, you make the stars align in your favor. You make the stars fight for you. You make the stars fight for your breakthrough. I'm Professor Swanyama. See you in the next videos. I'll be doing many, many videos to teach you so that you can receive your breakthrough. In Jesus' name.